In this video, I'm going to show you a solution I found to the problems I was having with my condenser microphones. Let's cut the intro and start this video. Hi, this is Bill the Techno Gypsy. One of the things I want to cover in this video is a solution to a problem I have been having for years on working with condenser microphones. I've had problems with the gain, that I couldn't get the gain up high enough on the preamp. So the problem you got into was that when you turn the gain almost all the way up on a preamplifier, you get a lot of noise that's injected into the signal path. So that's not good. When I looked around trying to find a solution to that, because most of the audio equipment I've got will go to about maybe 65 to 70 dB a gain, which is quite a bit but it's peaking out towards the top, and I was looking for some preamps that were in the 100 to 105 dB range, but those are quite expensive. Instead, I found this guy from this company called Triton Audio. Let's look at this thing just real quickly. This is called the Triton Fet Head Phantom. Now, I've used on dynamic microphones like this Electrovoice RE20 to make this dynamic microphone work to bring the signal level up high enough, I have to use a cloud lifter. So the cloud lifter is basically a preamp that fits in line and gives you the gain before you go into the recorder. So on dynamic microphones, I've used the cloud lifters on all of them but I didn't understand how to do it on condenser, and I did not know that this little guy even existed, and it's called the Triton Fethead Phantom. So it passes phantom power to your condenser microphone, but still gives you around 18 dB of gain. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over five of the different microphones that I've got, and show you the differences onto my recorder here, which is a Sound Design uh, Mix Pre 6. Excellent preamps on this guy. But to show you the differences on how it makes the signal much more usable. So let's go over which microphones I'm going to be using. Oh, and by the way, right now, yeah, I have my boom mic holder up here because I'm going to put the microphones into the boom and then do an actual test there with the FET head and then without the FET head. So right now, I am actually recording this video on a Sennheiser wireless mic that I'm tying in wirelessly over here to my Mix Pre 6. So the first microphone that we're gonna test with and without the FET head is the Sennheiser MKH416. This is a beautiful microphone this is the last one that I bought. This runs right at $1,000, $999 uh, on sale, and it is an excellent industry standard microphone. Well, it's kind of hard sometimes to justify on spending $1,000 on a microphone when you're trying to start out and get your YouTube channel going. The next microphone that I'm going to test is this Rode NTG3. Now this is the NTG3 with the RF bias. Uh, it's a very nice microphone. Originally it was $900. Now you can get it down at about $550 on Amazon or at Sweetwater. So we're going to check this one and test it with and without the FET head. The next mic <clears throat> is the Rode NTG4 Plus. Now this microphone, uh, you can tell here that I've started at the high end going down because I had so many problems at the low end and kept increasing on what I was spinning on microphones. And yes, the Sennheiser MKH416 is a beautiful, wonderful microphone. But this Rode on this NTG4 Plus is selling for $259.
We're also going to look at this Audio Technica AT 4053B. This is a short boom and it had been recommended on a lot of sites. So I was looking at it and thought it could be a, a very interesting solution to my problem because I had a lot of problems with echo and other things within the, the closed space. And the last one, well, that, that 4053B, it sells for $599, so it's a $600 microphone. The last one I'm going to test here is the Audio-Technica 875R. This is a nice little microphone. I picked it up for $169. You know, it's uh, one of the first ones that I tried when I moved up from an old C2 microphone on a condenser and wanted to go for a boom. Now you can tell here that I've started out, this is where I started at the low end at $169, all the way up to a thousand dollar microphone here. Hello Indigo. This is Indigo. It's my neighbor's cat from upstairs, but I guess she really wants to be in YouTube videos. My two cats, I have a Maine Coon, a name Gizmo that's uh, about 21, 22 pounder, and I have Dexter that's a little 10 pounder guy. So I think we'll do this video with help here from Indigo. So what I'm showing you is I started here from the lowest, cheapest mic at $169 and kept having problem after problem with reflections, um, all sorts of, of problems within the space. I treated my space, tried everything I could do, and continue to have problems, what I realized is, is that I had to have the gain set all, almost maxed out on the preamps to get these guys to work. So what we're going to do in this, we're going to try this Triton Fethead Phantom, and this gives around an 18 dB gain to these microphones. We're going to take them through the Mix Pre 6 over here, uh, we'll take it on to channel three, will be the uh, non fet head. Channel four will be the fet head. So let's get started on our tests of running it through and seeing how much of a difference that this $100 device can do. It may solve, I, I already know, it solves all the problems that I've got on my microphones and have made them much, much easier to use within the audio gear I've got. Over here, I've got a, a large analog processing audio system uh, with a couple of channel strips in it on the DBX-286s. Uh, I'll be going over that, but it's made a major difference on the DBX-286 on using these, or using these microphones with the amplifier. So let's get started and run through the testing. All right, so let's start this with the, let's start at the best microphone that I've got, which is the Sennheiser MKH416 and work down. I'm going to put it into the boom mount that I've got here so that we can do an actual test and see how they work. It's a little bit closer than I would normally use on a boom microphone, but it'll be a good test so that we can do a representative sample of both ways. So this will be the test on the Sennheiser MKH-416. This is a test with the MKH-416 Sennheiser on channel one without the Fethead Phantom. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less serious raids, could have been given to our people. All right, now on channel two, I'm running the Fethead Phantom. I did have to turn the Mix Pre-6's preamp down to 35 dB versus 50 dB with the non-Fethead. So here we go with the FET head on the Sennheiser MKH-416. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, 
I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less serious raids, could have been given to our people. Now we're going to run the test on the road NTG3. This is the road NTG3. This is without the Fethead Phantom. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less serious raids, could have been given to our people. This is with the Mix Pre-6 uh, preamp turned down to 35 dB instead of the 50 dB that is on channel 1. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. The next test is here with the Rode NTG4+. Plus. All right, this is the Rode NTG4 Plus with 50 dB of preamplifier gain. And you can tell that it's uh, sitting about 12 o'clock position on both channels one and two. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast with an, when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. Channel 2 on the Fethead Phantom. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. The next test is with the Audio-Technica AT-4053B. This is the Audio-Technica AT4053B. And this is without the Fethead Phantom. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. This is the AT4053B with the Fethead Phantom. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. The last test is with the Audio-Technica AT-875R. This is the Audio-Technica 875R. Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. This is with the Fethead Phantom. 
Turning once again, and this time more generally, to the question of invasion, I would observe that there has never been a period in all these long centuries of which we boast when an absolute guarantee against invasion, still less against serious raids, could have been given to our people. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, this short video on where I've tested all five of these microphones to give you a, a raw difference as to how they operate with the Phantom, uh, Fethead Phantom, and without the Fethead Phantom. Personally, it has changed all of my, all of my uh, usefulness of my condenser mics. I now have a good selection of five microphones that I can use, but I'm realizing that I could have gotten by with even this $169 uh, Audio-Technica 875R, which is a very good microphone, with this $100 Fethead Phantom preamp. So this is Bill the Techno Gypsy saying 7-3 and God bless. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. I have a special thing here at the end that I'm going to show you uh, for people that are in the Huntsville, uh, Arab, Alabama area. But check me out on my Patreon page if you'd like to contribute to help on uh, the production costs or whatever, because I'm doing all of these videos uh, basically as nonprofit. So this is Bill, the Techno Gypsy, saying 7-3, and God bless. All right, for that special thing I was gonna show my viewers that are in the Huntsville, Alabama, uh, Arab area, Gunnersville, that area. One of the things that I'm setting up here is the company has become, it's been established called Technog Productions. And this is going to be a creative space and a maker space. The maker space is in the other building, which is a, basically the shop building. And this is the creative space that I'm going to bring people into. I'm working in conjunction with Excelsior Studios in Huntsville. Uh, they are a for-profit studio, uh, but we've got some ideas on how to go out and start working and teaching people how to shoot videos on site. And we're gonna look at doing a lot of free stuff around here. If you join and come with us, these are the Technog Productions crew t-shirts. So these will be given out to everybody that's going to uh, assist on the crew. And uh, you know, they're $20 a piece. It's not bad. Uh, it gives me about a dollar profit on each one of them, but that's okay. But these are what will be given out for the crew as we go out to all the remote sites and locations around this area. So again, this is Bill the Techno Gypsy saying 7-3 and God bless.